In order to obtain accurate and consistent electrocardiograms, it is necessary to know how to set them up and place the electrodes on the body. 10 electrodes are used for a 12 lead electrocardiogram. Six of these leads are limb leads, and six of these leads are chest leads. The limb leads demonstrate the cardiac vectors in the coronal or vertical plane of the body. The six precordial or chest leads demonstrate the cardiac vectors in the transverse or horizontal plane of the body. Each of these leads represents the electrical potential difference between two points. For each lead, the positive pole is one of the ten electrodes. The negative pole is either one of the other electrodes or a composite pole known as Wilson's central terminal. Wilson's central terminal is produced by averaging the measurements from the right arm electrode, the left arm electrode, and the left leg electrode to give an average potential across the body. Bipolar leads, such as leads 1, 2, and 3, use two electrodes as their positive and negative poles. For lead 1, the positive pole is the left arm electrode, while the negative pole is the right arm electrode. For lead 2, the positive pole is a leg electrode, while the negative pole is the right arm electrode. For lead 3, the positive pole is also a leg electrode, and the negative pole is the left arm electrode. The remaining leads, AVR, AVL, AVF, and leads V1 through V6 are called unipolar leads, and all use Wilson's central terminal as the negative pole. With leads V1 through V6, the positive lead is each respective electrode. With lead AVR, the positive pole is the right arm electrode. With lead AVL, the positive pole is the left arm electrode. With AVF, the positive pole is a leg electrode. For your information, the AV stands for augmented vector. AVR means augmented vector right, AVL means augmented vector left, and AVF means augmented vector foot. The electrodes are placed as follows. RA or right arm is placed on the right arm avoiding the thick muscle. LA or left arm is placed on the left arm in a similar place as the RA electrode. RL, or right leg, is placed on the right lateral calf muscle. LL, or left leg, is placed on the left lateral calf muscle in a similar place as the RL electrode. V1 is placed in the fourth intercostal space between ribs 4 and 5, just to the right of the sternum or breastbone. V2 is placed in the fourth intercostal space between ribs 4 and 5, just to the left of the sternum. V3 is placed exactly between V2 and V4. V4 is placed in the fifth intercostal space between ribs 5 and 6 in the midclavicular line. When setting up the electrodes, always place leads V2 and V4 before placing lead V3. V5 is placed in the fifth intercostal space, even with V4, in the left anterior axillary line. Finally, V6 is placed in the fifth intercostal space with V4 and V5 in the mid axillary line. Additional specialized leads can also be placed depending on circumstances. For example, a right sided electrocardiogram may be performed to evaluate for abnormalities of the right ventricle. This is often done to detect a right ventricular myocardial infarction in the setting of an inferior myocardial infarction. In addition, a posterior lead may be used to evaluate for a posterior myocardial infarction. To set up a right-sided electrocardiogram, you first attach the limb leads as normal, but then put the chest leads opposite of normal and over the right chest. Right V1 is placed in the 4th intercostal space between ribs 4 and 5, just to the left of the sternum or breastbone. Right V2 is placed in the 4th intercostal space 
between ribs 4 and 5, just to the right of the sternum. This is exactly opposite to the normal placement of V1 and V2. Right V4 is placed next in the fifth intercostal space between ribs 5 and 6 in the right midclavicular line. Right V3 is then placed exactly between leads right V2 and right V4. Right V5 is placed in the fifth intercostal space, even with right V4 in the right anterior axillary line. Finally, right V6 is placed in the fifth intercostal space, with V4 and V5 in the right mid axillary line. Posterior leads, also referred to as leads V7, V8, and V9, are typically placed on the left posterior chest. All are placed in the same horizontal line as leads V4 through V6. Lead V6 can be used as a reference point for this horizontal plane. V7 is placed at the left posterior axillary line. V8 is placed at the mid scapular line. And V9 is placed at the left spinal border. The posterior leads can be used to help detect posterior wall myocardial infarctions. Thank you for watching this video on electrocardiogram lead placement. This abridged version is just one of 39 videos found in EEE, Executive Electrocardiogram Education. I encourage you to click on our link or to visit us at ecgedu.com where you can create an account and view other sample videos.